right now at 9 o'clock, a Valley Uber driver says her car is totaled after a rider accidentally shot himself. So he's alive here, but he left behind a blood-soaked mess. And our Jeff Van Sand has this exclusive story. Jeff. Yeah, this happened back on the 18th, and this woman says that she was simply doing Uber to get some extra cash uh, for the holidays and pay for some bills. And mind you, the images that you're about to see are a bit disturbing. Well, I picked them up. It was a group of three. It was two guys and a girl. And the next thing I know, um, there was a loud pop. Melissa is in shock. My ears were definitely ringing. The man sitting right behind her accidentally shot himself in the hand and leg. He couldn't talk. He was just screaming. He drove to Banner Desert where I was there and had to wait for the police. She soon discovers the bloody mess left behind. It, it hit the door on the driver's side and there was a lot of blood loss, so it actually ruined the interior. She hired a hazmat team to clean it up. Blood had pooled underneath the crossbar of the of my car, so they had to cut that in order to get the blood underneath that. Because of the crossbar having to be cut, her car is unsafe. It's a total loss. She's now trying to figure out what to do next. And yet now I have to come up with a down payment <laughs> on a new car. I have to start over on a new car for a four dollar fare <laughs> i think that's what bugs me the most it was maybe a three four dollar fare she says that night still haunts her and she doesn't even like coming near that car that's now just sitting in her garage and can't be used and uh, coming up at 10 o'clock we're going to look at how uber is helping this woman uh recover from this ordeal guys back to you